Okay, so you wanna start practicing self-care, but you're not sure what to do or how it even works. Don't worry about it, bro, I got you. Stick around as I'll be sharing how to practice self-care so that way you can become a better man. Hey, what's going on everybody? Michael A. Benton here, and on this channel, I focus on giving men the knowledge and the tools that they need to help control the life that they desire. If you're a man striving to better himself, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. So I've been doing self-development probably for the last five or six years, and in that time frame, I've developed for myself some self-care practices um, that have really shaped who I am today. And so really my hopes for this video is that you guys can uh, take some of these ideas and incorporate them in your own life, and hopefully it would uh, you know make you guys better men as well. So stay tuned. All right, so let's start here. So what is self-care? So self-care is an activity that you do intentionally to take care of your uh, mental, physical, and emotional health. And so if you do any research on self-care, um, you're gonna see that it has clinically been proven to reduce stress, reduce anxiety, um, give you improved concentration, um, to lower or get rid of depression, so, uh, and, and so much more. And so there's so many advantages to doing self-care that it's, it's just like a no-brainer that you should be doing it um, if you already aren't. So as men, we're always having to be on. And what I mean by that is, is like, the minute you walk out the door and you're headed to work, your stress levels are probably up a little bit, especially once you get to work because you're having to be effective and efficient typically 100% of the time, right? And then when you leave work, you're coming home, if you have a spouse, you have kids, you're now giving your undivided attention to them, okay? You're also dealing with other societal issues such as, you know, being in the presence of a woman in a workplace or, you know, being around other men that have high uh, bravados and, and just, you know, the testosterone is just kicking up there and so you're having to kind of deal with that as well. So there's so many issues that we as men have to face on a day-to-day -day basis, which makes it so important for us to um, need to practice self-care. And so if you're not, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the practices that I do and the reason why I do them. And you know, if you feel that you can incorporate some of these, great. Or feel free to get some ideas and kind of create your own that are more true to you. All right, so the first self-care activity that I do that um, I love so much is exercising. Um, I've been exercising for many, many years and I typically go about six days a week, usually about 4 a.m. in the morning, but that just works for, you know, for my particular schedule. Um, but the reason why I exercise is because I don't have to think about nothing. Like in that time I'm in the gym, I'm typically there for about 45 minutes to an hour. And in that time frame, I'm just focusing on myself, right? And just me and the weights. I don't, I'm not thinking about what I have to do, you know, when I leave or when I have to get to work or anything with the, you know, family stuff. I'm not thinking about any of that stuff. It's just me in the gym. So that really allows me to kind of just decompress and it's just a lot of alone time, which is awesome. Uh, another benefit obviously is, you know, staying in shape. Me, I like to stay in shape. Um, you know, one of the things that I really focus on is longevity as far as my health. You know, I have kids and I want to be able to see, you know, their kids grow up. And so, you know, staying, you know, sharp as far as health wise is really important to me and, and just eliminating as much um, health risk as possible. Another reason why, um, you know, I personally go to the gym is because, again, I like to look good. So, you know, you know, you, you get a bit of confidence when you start building on muscle and, and, and your arms start growing and, you know, people are like, oh man, you, you know, obviously you've been working out or whatever it is. So, you know, just looking good builds confidence with myself. I also get that self-love, which is just spending time with myself. Um, and it's an activity that I truly love to do. And so if you're not going to the gym um, because you don't really care to work out, that's totally fine. But try and go at least to get on hop on a treadmill and and do you know five or ten minutes just to get your heart rate up just to get the blood flowing just to open up those arteries in your heart because again i'm sure just like anyone else you want to be on this earth long enough to you know see your kids or experience different things and so without exercising obviously diet included you know you could be limiting um you know your your life on this earth so exercise is a good one so my second uh, self-care routine that I do is journaling. And I probably started journaling maybe two years ago, really consistently. And I journal a couple of times throughout the day. So usually when I first wake up in the morning, um, my feet hit the ground. I have what's called a five minute journal. I got it from Amazon. I'll, I'll put the link uh, in the description below. 
Um, but it just helps me kind of get ready for the day. That's my first step when I journal. And then usually at night when I get home and I'm kind of like, you know, just laying down for a little bit or whatever, um, I'll journal as far as like my feelings, how I felt that day. What was the day like? Uh, what happened? You know, kind of just reflecting. And I'm telling you, man, it, there's something awesome about being able to like go back like six months or even, you know, a year and a half and read your entries because you'll see the progression of how your thinking was at that time. And <clears throat> I just find it super fascinating to see what my thoughts were, you know, six months ago compared to what they are now. You know, am I, am I witnessing myself grow or am I, um, you know, or am I going backwards? You know, so it's, it's a really good indicator for you to kind of see where you are in life. It's also another big benefit of journaling is that you're able to like really just put everything that you're feeling down in a journal. Now, here's why this is key. Most men, if I would say majority of men, right? We've all been taught like, oh, hold your emotions. Don't show your emotions, right? Don't show your feelings, man up, right? Men don't cry, all that stuff, right? And so you're going to be very reluctant to express how you feel about a certain circumstance or your feelings to anyone else because you're going to, you're going to want to look, you know, soft or you don't want to look like, uh, you know, you're emotional, whatever. So if you're not willing to have a conversation with someone about, you know, what it is that you're, you're feeling, a journal is a perfect opportunity for you to drop those down. And that can just be a conversation with you and your journal and no one else has to see it. But at least the most important thing is that you're, you're putting down your thoughts, your, your, uh, what they call, uh, mind dumping, right? Or your thought dumping all of your thoughts into your journal. And again, it's another way for you to look back and reflect on your growth. Um, so that's why I journal. Um, I've been doing it for, like I said, two years and I, I find it very, very um, helpful and beneficial, especially when I'm going through times that are stressful and just, you know, I need to, I need to vent. I go to my journal. All right, guys, so comment below and tell me what is one self-care activity that you do now or that you would like to incorporate as you move forward. All right, so the third activity or self-care routine that I do is meditation. Now, I will tell you, I'm not as consistent with meditation as I am with the other activities that I do. However, um, it's, it's one of those things where it's gonna take some time for you to get used to meditating. Typically, if you don't know what meditation is, you're sitting down either you know cross-legged or you're laying down. Some people may stand up and it's just really like sitting in stillness. And, and so if you're a beginner at meditating, what always happens, and even it happens to me still, is that your mind, your thoughts are just running rampant and you feel that you can't focus on the meditation part because your mind is just going all over the place, which is totally fine. It's gonna happen and I, like I said, as you meditate more, your thoughts will, um, you know, calm down. Um, so, but one of the benefits that I love about meditation for me is, is that it's a time for me to, you know, kind of have a conversation with the higher power. So I'm a spiritual person. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's time for prayer for me sometimes if I want to do that other times, um, you know, I'm there to kind of, you know, bring in more calmness and, uh, bring in more self love or affirmations. Um, so I'll put some, um, the links in the description here of where I listen to guided meditations. So if you want to have someone kind of guide you through a five minute meditation or a 10 minute meditation, there are, um, some channels on YouTube that will do that. That are pretty awesome. So I'll put those in a link. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why I do meditation. So again, I would definitely try it out. Just know that you're probably not going to enjoy it the first couple of times, but it does take some time to get used to, but it is a great self care activity. All right, so the fourth activity that I do is shoot guns. Now I'm not, again, as consistent. I don't go shooting every week, um, but I try to get out maybe once or twice a month um, to a local range, whether it's indoor or outdoor. Um, I'm prior military. I've always had a fascination with guns, but again, just like exercising, this is a time for me to not have any thoughts. It's really just me and the targets and just kind of focusing on what I'm doing in the present moment which is phenomenal because I don't have to, again, think about what's going on, you know, in, in the world and in, in, in my life in particular. If you don't like shooting guns, this is a perfect opportunity for you to find something that you do like. 
right? So again, if you're not a gun person, maybe you're a car person, maybe you like working on cars. And so maybe you'll take an hour or two hours or whatever you feel you need to do to work on cars. Or maybe you have a hobby in a different area as far as like race cars or tinkering with, you know, remote control airplanes, whatever it is, find something that excites you, that, that you like, that you're into and use that as a way to create self-care for yourself. Listen, there's no right or wrong as to what you do, what activity that you choose. The whole point of it is to create or stimulate, you know, self-care and, and love and like just, you know, being one with yourself and, and doing something that you enjoy that takes your mind off of what else is going on in the world, you know, in your life. So, you know, find something that works for you. For me, I like shooting guns and, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a really good hobby for me. So, all right, so the fifth self-care routine that I do that you probably wouldn't think is a self-care routine, but it is, and that's eating healthy. So for me, so like, guys, we only have one body. We only get it one body for the rest of our life. And so why not make sure that that thing is maintained and it is properly lubricated with the right foods and, and so it lasts as long as possible. So eating healthy allows me to do that. Another reason why I eat healthy, or at least try to eat healthy for the most part, um, is because it makes me feel good. You know, I, my body feels energetic. It doesn't feel sluggish. I don't feel tired um, as much. Um, you know, I, I feel light and, you know, I don't have any, you know, gut aches or anything like that from eating fatty foods and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong, like, I still treat myself to a burger and fries here and there. Or, you know, I'll go out and, you know, I'll have dinner at a restaurant, but I typically meal prep on Sundays so that way during my work week, I'm not having to spend money um, or eat fast food or anything like that. So if you're not incorporating eating healthy, I would urge you to do that. Um, if you're like, hell no, it's still not for me, totally cool. Find something else um, that you wanna incorporate. Or if you do wanna kinda dabble into eating healthy, totally just, just smart, start small, right? So just, I don't know, have an apple, start there. If you're not eating any fruits, have an orange, and eat a banana in the morning, like start slow and then kind of incorporate um, the rest of the stuff that you can that you can choose to eat, so yeah. All right, my sixth and my final self-care activity that I do on a daily basis, this one is the most consistent for me, is, is vibing to music. So music is my solace. So I don't know if you guys out there like love music as much as I do, but anytime I'm in a, a funk, anytime I'm in a bad mood, whatever could be going on, I always throw on some music and it just takes me to another place. Um, so I love going for car rides at night when it's not blazing hot here in Arizona and I'll have the windows down and I'll have the music blasting and it's just so freeing for me to listen to music and just kind of vibe out. Um, that's a lot of like self-care, self-love for me. Um, another reason why I listen to music, man, is because I just, I just love, you know, the sounds of the different instruments that are being played. And I'm all over the place when it comes to genres, right? So I'm listening to hip hop, R&B. Um, I listen to uh, blues. You know, when I'm on my way to work, like I'm listening to house music. It's so upbeat. And it just kind of, it's very energetic and it just gets you going. So I'm listening to different different genres, depending on my mood, depending on the, the time of day. Uh, but again, it's one of those activities that, again, I just, it makes me feel good. Um, I can kind of just relax a little bit, calm down from whatever it is I may be thinking about or dealing with in that day. And it kind of just, you know, puts me into like a little trance uh, and I'm just, I'm just vibing out. So. Um, so yeah, guys, so, so those are my self-care activities that I incorporate, um, try to on a, on a daily or weekly basis. I hope that you guys are able to take away some of these activities. If you're not doing any of them, feel free to incorporate them. If you don't like any of them, feel free to take this opportunity to create your own self-care routine that fits who you are and allows you to, you know, get that self-love and, 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 and express yourself in, in, in ways that you know you like and that you feel good. And it gives you that time to just kind of calm your mind down and just be, be present with yourself. It's really most important, be present. All right, fellas, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.